A trail of bodies in a standoff with police would be the end result of a stalker gone mad. Hello, true crimers. This is the case of Richard Farley. Viewer discretion is advised. But first, make sure you give this page a follow. This is my backup page. This is where I will be posting all of my crime content for now. Richard was born in Texas on July 25th, 1948. By 1967, he was a member of the U.S. Navy, and he would be discharged in 1977. And that's when he would begin working at a defense contractor named ESL Incorporated in Sunnyvale, California. Fast forward to 1984. A 22-year-old named Laura Black would begin working at ESL. And Richard Farley, well, he got the little gigglies for her. He said, and I quote, I instantly fell in love. Love is in the air. Oh, no, she didn't, <clears throat> she didn't return the sentiment. Well, Creepy Richie would begin leaving gifts for Laura. Love letters, baked goods. One day, he even grew a pair and, you know what, asked her out. She said no. He kept trying. She always said no. This made life at work very uncomfortable because the two of them had to continue working together. Well, Dick here, he, um, he took it a step farther. He called her work desk every couple of hours. He then found out where her aerobics class was, and he went there. Dick, bud, this isn't how you woo someone. Take it from me, a lonely fat gay guy. Get it together. Okay. Over the course of four years, this man sent that woman 200 different letters. He then managed to convince HR to give him Laura Black's address. In 1986, he was finally fired from ESL. By 1988, Laura had to get a restraining order on him. On February 16th, 1988, it would all boil over for Richard. He packed up seven different guns, a foot-long buck knife, smoke bombs, and then put on a bulletproof vest. He entered the ESL building by shooting through the glass of one of the doors, and with 1,000 rounds of ammunition on his person, he began murdering people. Anyone who crossed his path, he shot him. It was a bloodbath. He shot and killed seven people. He shot and injured four more people, including Laura Black, but she did survive. A SWAT team arrived. There was then a five-hour standoff. You can even find the conversation between Richard and the negotiator um, on YouTube. Richard finally surrendered. He did this because he was pissed about the restraining order. He would be convicted and sentenced to death, where he is still waiting.